here we are today, going to the garage and taking the lid off our new engine, JK Sun 8 horsepower. First inspection, not bad colour, nice choice of colour. Um, not about the plastic knob on there though. I don't know how many else seems to be okay except that broke off. That's not very good. I think they stacked it sideways. The guy at the wharf said they stacked them sideways in the container from India. Not very happy. We'll get asked. We'll be asking for a new one of these. These things happen. No big deal. I haven't opened these two other two engines yet. Got some spare parts in there. All the flywheels there. The flywheel is suitable for a 10 one. Eight eight one engine with a 10 one flywheel to go up to a thousand RPM if you need to. Do you like that? His engine? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Here's the water pump. That's the wrong size. We've got a big pulley on the machine, on the engine. Big pulley. And the belt they've provided in there is too thick for this groove. And only that, this cup is all loose. Loose cup. Not very happy about that. But there it is. Coming off. They've over threaded it. Or stripped the thread as they machined it. Or tapped it. And you can see in there, it's a bit of gunk. Big gunky in there. Not very nice colour, but it moves very smoothly, surprisingly. This is a cooling water pump option. Undone that off there. Plastic knob. Seems to be like pressed metal, I think. It's not cast. But uh, let's put that down there. You can see here that it doesn't align up very well. I've tried to realign it already. It doesn't come up that way far enough. It doesn't go that way far enough. So this looks like it needs to be a bit machined in here. Well, as per Auto Power website and Quinn's report on the kit engines, that these don't line up properly. So I have to do something about that. Um, it's meant to be not test run. And here's the gantry that Uncle Rick made. Dad. Isn't he a good man? Dad, Daddy. Right, okay, here we are. We've got the spare parts happening. And this is a little, came with a bag there. A little instruction book. Uh, that's the original list of one made it small. Spanners, don't know what it meant. I thought that was a magnet, but it's not got no magnetism properties at all. That. Anyhow, um, high pressure fuel line replacement as a spare. Look at that little nice little nut for the top of the engine. Much better than the plastic one it came with. Beautifully machined inlet and exhaust valves. Very beautifully machined. Oil seal, flow wheel key. Very well machined um, spare uh, Conrod bearing, big end bearings. Five piston rings, silencer. Head gasket, starter, starter handle, they're the little things that go on the end of the flywheel so I get decorative for the nice oil bath, air filter, what's that, oil can. And yeah, so it's all very good, the other spare. So let's uh, pull the side of the crate off and have a look, eh? Let's try and uncrate. Give it a good whack there, Nugget. I'll give you a good whack there, <sighs> Nearly there. Nearly there. Oh, there you Yay! Never send a boy to do a man's job. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. We need to move this. Hey, right, go. Just do it. Thanks, Lucy. You up here to reveal. Reveal. There it is, a massive two inch crankshaft. Look at that, eh? Oh, it's even got the thing on the top. Great. Oh, cool. Fantastic. Well. There it is, good old JK. Now we pull it apart and see if there's any, any Indian sand inside. Very nice looking so far, except for this little bit of an area here, but which you can get that fixed. Anyhow, there it is.